What's good YouTube? This is the only big green Yu-Gi-Oh! and I'm back again with another deck profile. And this deck profile is going to be a Troop Dupe Scoop format deck. The ban list for this format is June 1st, 2007. And the deck is Perfect Circle Monarchs. A very good deck, definitely tier 1, or in my opinion it's the best deck of the format. Just going off of its Shun and Jump Championship success that the deck had. And you know, all the regional success that this deck had. It was just super strong. And definitely tier 1, if not the best. Starting off, Triple Rise of the Storm Monarch. Definitely the, be the best Monarch back in the game at this point in time. Or at that point in time. Uh, whenever it's Tribute Summon, you can target a card on the field and return it to the top of that player's deck. Very, very strong. Especially like if you can open up like a Malicious with a Destiny draw in this card. It's just extremely strong because it basically puts your opponent... It basically skips their entire first turn with what they did. It's just really, really good. Its stats are amazing with 2,400 attack. On to the next Monarch, Double Thestalos. I want to play three of this card. I want to play six Monarchs in total. It's just I don't know what to cut from my deck at this point in time. So if you do want to play a third one, it definitely wouldn't be that bad to play a third one. What he does is on Tribute Summon, you ran, your opponent randomly discards a card from their hand and they take 100 damage times that monster's level if it was a monster. On to the hero part of the deck, because the deck did play a small hero engine. Elemental Hero Stratos, of course, letting you search any hero card that you want from your deck. Or hero monster, should I say. And then uh, the spell trap destruction that it had. Triple Malicious. Uh, malicious, of course, whenever it's in your graveyard, you can banish it to special summon out another malicious. So, free tribute fodder for your monarchs. Two Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Fearmonger, whenever it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, during your next standby phase, you can special summon a Destiny Hero monster from your grave. So, most likely your Mali or the next card I'm going to show you. The one of this commander. This commander, whenever it's special summoned from the graveyard, you get to draw two cards. This is definitely not the new eroded version. This is the original one that eventually got banned, of course. This is definitely not the new one. <laughs> this card was really, really good back then. It was just a free draw two, and then you tribute over for a monarch. It just had so much advantage on it. Three card trooper. The reason this format is called Troop Dupe Scoop. Just uh, mill anywhere from one to three cards. It gains 500 attack for each card milled, and that's until the end of your turn. Also, whenever it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can draw cards. So this card is just really, really nuts, and if you have machine duplication, there's a reason this format is called Troop Dupe Scoop. One of Sangin. Sangin letting you search the hand any 1500 or less attack point monster when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Of course, basically searching out a lot of the cards in your deck. Basically everything except your Stratos and your Monarchs. One of Snipe Hunter, definitely like the best removal back then. Uh, basically, you discard a card, you roll a die. If it lands on anything but a 1 or 6, you pop it. So your odd, the odds are definitely in your favor to pop a card. And the discard most of the time, it's not even really a downside like getting Mali into the grave for a Monarch, getting Disco into the grave. The discards aren't even like that bad in some cases. Or the next card that I'm going to show you, the one of Treeborn Frog, this isn't a bad discard. Uh, whenever it's in your graveyard and you control, during your standby phase, whenever it's in your graveyard and you control no back row, you can special summon it. So it's free tribute fodder for Monarchs. And then the lastly, the monster, the last monster in the deck, the one of Spirit Reaper, can't be destroyed by battle. Just a, another old school standard Yu-Gi-Oh card. If it attacks directly, you get to rip a card out of the opponent's hand. And whenever it's targeted by a card effect, it auto dies. Onto the spells: Triple Destiny draw, discard a Destiny hero monster, draw two. Just very good. Double Machine duplication for your card troopers. Basically lets you special summon out two more card troopers from your deck. Double bro or triple brain control. Pay 100 life points. Take control of opponent's monster. This of course is the original brain control. Definitely not playing by the eroded effect today. Uh, I've, this is one card that I may consider cutting down to two for another Thestalos. But I just don't know yet. 
your back row removal back then, the one MST, one heavy. Of course, MST and heavy were both at one. And then on to the big power spells of the deck. Your Pot of Avarice, basically the Pot of Greed of the format, because Pot of Greed was, event, you know, banned. Uh, confiscation, pay a thousand, look at the opponent's hand, and then they discard a card. Snatch Steal, a classical old school card that's played in basically almost every deck. And then pre mad again, a super classical old school card that's played in basically every deck back then. On to your trap cards. Your standard power four traps, like in goat format. If you played goat format, this will look extremely familiar. These power four trap cards are just extremely strong back in the day. Basically board wiping with this, a good control card that can kill the opponent with this. And then of course, Call of the Haunted being Call of the Haunted. And then the final three cards in the deck, the triple or triple, oh my gosh, I'm stuttering, my bad guys. Triple trap dust shoot. <laughs> that sucked trying to say that. If your opponent has four or more cards in their hand, you can activate this and then you get to look at the opponent's hand and return a card back into their deck. So just really strong. And I forgot to lay out my extra deck over here. Not that it really matters. Uh, I will still show you the extra deck because Metamorphosis was still around, so you might want to play Metamorphosis in your build. So just in case you do want to play Metamorphosis, these are like the, the standard uh, extra deck monsters, so I'll give you some time to look at them. I'm just not going to go in depth on them just because uh, my build doesn't play any Metamorphosis, but just in case if you do play Metamorphosis... These are like typically like your targets for them. Uh, Cyber Dragons, of course, for if you play like a Cyber Dragon engine with like Future Fusion or Overload Fusion, these are good targets for that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. This has been the only big green you go, and I'm signing out.